Hey everyone, it's Becca. Welcome back to another video. I have a bright lipstick on to match my thank goodness for lipstick little crop top which I love so I just wanted to show you guys that. But anyway, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing my current favorites. I don't do monthly favorites as you guys know. But my current favorites I thought I had quite enough to talk about so I'm wearing quite a few of the products today. The first one is this Milk Makeup Cool Stick I believe cooling water stick. I really like this. Use it underneath my eyes to refresh, especially with my allergies lately. They've been kind of bad. Um, just the allergens have been switching over and this has really, really helped just to soothe. It has that cooling sensation and also to moisturize, which is really nice. Another thing I've been loving, I use this before I go to bed. Sorry, I just had to change my battery pack. The ones that I got just off of Amazon do not hold a charge as in they don't hold it when I'm not using it. So super annoying. So I just had to change my battery again. But anyway, I've been loving this Mario Badescu skincare facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. It's mostly rose water that you smell. And I've had this for a while, but I'm using it quite a bit. I love this right before I go to sleep. I feel like it makes my skin a little softer when I wake up, and it's just really nice and refreshing, and just a nice little routine as I go to bed. I've realized as a Capricorn, I love, love, love my routines, so I've been really liking that. The next thing is Lash Paradise Mascara, which I am wearing today just with a primer underneath. I uh, really like this. It's great on length, not the best on volume, but I mean, it's still great. So I like layering it. It never um, flakes or smudges or rarely flakes and smudges on me, which is really big. This is just not, it's not waterproof. It's just the blackest black. So I absolutely love this. Um, I did a video on this, so I will leave it in a card if you guys want to watch that. Then I've also been loving this, just this little baby card. This is the NARS Orgasm Blush. I do have it on today. It doesn't pair the best with this highlight, but that's another one of my favorites, so I want to pair it together. But I'm just absolutely loving this. I have, like, the full size, but I think this is because it's, like, loose. It's more loosely pressed that it actually is, like, a lot better than, I think, than my full size formula, which is funny. Um, I've just, I don't know, I've been loving it. I'm realizing now why it's a cult favorite. Okay, speaking of my highlight, I've been loving, I got this in an Ipsy a couple months ago that I just never used, but this is the bronzer highlighter from Mana Kadar. I don't like the bronzer because it does have quite a bit of shimmer, but this highlight I am wearing today, and it's so pretty. It's actually finally a color that's actually lighter than my skin tone, and it just, it's really blends in with his skin really really well. I don't have to like sit there and work with it. Not that I normally have to but it normally does look kind of like a stripe but this just looks so nice. It actually highlights my skin. It's just it was a really unexpected love so really like that. The next thing is the Aurora Glow Kit. I have been trying this out for quite a, some time and I wasn't in love with it but the other day I believe I used the purple shade and because I saw someone with purple uh, purple highlight on and I want to use it so of course so I used it with a fan brush because I didn't want to get a stripe of purple and I like this with a fan brush I think is how you have to apply it I was trying to buff it in to try to get rid of some of that glitter but I think with the fan brush you still get you can still build it up to a nice you know to a nice pigmentation and sheen and shine but I like it with the fan brush because it somehow gets rid of some of those chunks of glitter. So I'm going to use the fan brush with my other Anastasia Glow Kits, like the Moonchild that's a little, has a chunkier glitter, as well as the, oh, what is that? The, you know what I'm talking about. It's, oh, that other one with, not Chrissy Teigen, whatever that other one is called, with the beauty influencer. You know what I'm talking about. Because those shades I really liked, but I just didn't like the amount of glitter in them. So I'm really excited to try to use that. I mean, you still see some glitter, of course, but it's not that bad. It looks so much better with the skin. It just blends in a little better with a fan brush. So I'd highly recommend trying that out with your chunkier glitter highlighters if you haven't already. So I think that's all of my favorites here. I know it was a little quick, um, but I did have quite a few products on there and I like to really be, I really like to pick my products and really make sure they're ones that I've used for a while and that they're actually favorites before I recommend them to you guys. And my one fail that I have is this Jessie's Girl Liquid Eyeliner. I heard really good things about this. It's supposed to be dupe for like the Stila one, like all those ones. But, and I've been using this and it's fine, but I have pretty watery eyes. 
and it did smudge on me, which is just a no-go in my book, so I really can't wait to get back to my Physician's Formula. I honestly just might repurchase that now because none of my other eyeliners can do it justice, my liquid eyeliners. I just love, love, love that thing. So, yeah, this was definitely fail. I'll probably toss it or pass it along because if it smudges then that's no good for me I can't use that you know if one is not black enough but doesn't smudge then sure I can make it work but this I'm not gonna use an eyeliner that's just gonna smudge and ruin my makeup by you know the middle of the day so yeah I'm glad only I kind of one fail I'm sure I probably had something else but that's the one I wanted to talk about I also on my eyes have been using the naked three um, I really like it I, I don't know, I was never drawn to the rosy shades because I thought it would make me more look more red than I am, especially with my allergies, but I actually really, really like it because some of the browns don't have that much pink. It's just like a warm undertone to them or like a mauve pink undertone to them. So yeah, I've been we wearing that for the past two days, so that could be an honorable mention. So it's a rediscovered love. So anyway, hope you guys are all doing well, and until next time, bye everyone.